Hello, I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaparral Motorsports, and on the table in front of me, we have six of the best helmets for 2018 in that $250 price point or less. So with the six helmets we have here on the table, these all fit criteria that we've looked at to find you the best helmets of 2018. All of these helmets fall into a price range between $150 and $250. Within that $100 range, these are the best helmets that you're gonna find on the marketplace. So all six of these helmets that we've chosen are great helmets. They're either top sellers, they're either brand new on the marketplace and hot for 2018, or they're helmets that our customers ask about all the time. Now out of this range of helmets, there's gonna be some similarities of these helmets that they're all gonna have. They're all gonna have built-in speaker pockets. So if you wanna add a headset to your helmet, you're gonna have optimum places to put speakers. That's a question that we always get. Um, are there speaker pockets built in? All of these helmets have that. Construction-wise, most all of these are gonna be fiberglass helmets. Now they're all gonna weigh about the same weight. So basically, I wanted to be able to find a way to rate these helmets face value. So just looking at the helmet and the features that they have, how would we rate them? We gave 11 different classifications or areas that we wanted to look at. We wanted to look at shell construction. We wanted to look at safety. We wanted to look at the visors. We wanted to look at the vents. And then we rated them according to that scale. And this is how they fared. We have a rating of 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, and 20. So this CL17 helmet was the best rated helmet. It has the best price. It's Snell rated. It has some of the best venting of all of these helmets on the table. Now, a very interesting thing is this is the least expensive helmet on the table. Now, conversely, this Biltwell helmet is a super popular helmet out there in the marketplace. The styling of that helmet is very unique, and it is a helmet that lots of people come in asking for. Now, as far as the helmets on the table here, it has very minimal features compared to the rest of the lineup, and it is the most expensive helmet here on the table. So that's how all these helmets rate on face value according to this chart that we created, or rating scale, if you will. I then wanted to dig in a little deeper and find out how all of these helmets felt. How did the helmet feel when you pulled it on? Was it plush inside? Was it kind of scratchy inside? How did the venting feel? Did the vent slide open and slide closed easily? How did the visor work? Was it a ratchety type feel or was it a very smooth transition or movement? There were lots of things that you really can't see on face value, but once you put the helmet on and wear it for a few minutes, you definitely get an idea of what you like and dislike. So after trying them on, wearing them for about 10 minutes each around the shop here, this is the order that I would put them in. The Icon Air Flight was absolutely the most comfortable and I think the most feature packed. It's also a brand new helmet, so I'm kind of excited about it. But overall, this helmet, I have a long oval head, fit the best and had the best features of all these helmets for my particular head shape. The next helmet was this FG17 from HJC. This had probably the most plush interior next to that of the Scorpion. I mean, it had an intermediate head shape, so it still fit well, and I really liked it a lot. Next up was the Scorpion EXO helmet. This was a fantastic feeling helmet. I really liked the way the visor went up and down, the interior was plush, the venting on this thing, the vents were super, super crisp. Now, what I didn't care about it was it had a very, very round head profile. My head doesn't quite fit that profile, so if you have a round head, this is probably gonna be the number one helmet I'd recommend for you. We'll get to that again here in a minute. Next up on the list is this HJC CL17. This is a great fitting helmet. It's very intermediate. I liked everything about it. It just wasn't quite as plush as some of the others here on that side of the table. This Speed and Strength SS3000 helmet, I really wanted to like. I wanted to like it a lot because I liked a lot of the features that were in it. But for my particular head, it came down really short and I felt that the size was extremely small. I actually took this out to the helmet department and had to size up two helmet sizes in order to get it fitting the way I needed in order to fit my head. So because of that, it's here on the end of the table. The Biltwell helmet came in number six. If I was gonna try them on, features, benefits, things of that nature, as far as fit and finish goes, it's a little bit rudimentary. Now that's what some guys are really looking for with this helmet. It has minimal venting, it has minimal features, and that's what some guys love about this helmet. But for me, I wanted something a little bit more in depth, but that's why it rates number six. For those of you who wear glasses, these are the three that I would recommend. 
The Icon was probably the best fitting, Scorpion second, and the Biltwell third, if I was gonna rate them on how well they fit with glasses, but all of these did a really, really good job. Both of the HJCs were kind of okay. I was able to fuss with it quite a bit and finally get them to kind of fit, but they never felt really, really good. And the Speed and Strength helmet, I just, no matter what I did, in any of the three sizes of helmets that I tried to wear, I wasn't able to get my glasses to fit comfortably inside those. So if you're a glasses wearer, these are the three helmets that I'm gonna recommend as the best fitting helmets under $250 for 2018. Now here on the table, I've got three different helmets for three different head shapes. If you're a long oval, this Air Flight helmet from Icon is gonna be the helmet that's gonna fit you best out of this lineup. If you have an intermediate head, not really round, not really long oval, this FG17 helmet is gonna be the best fit for you. And if you've got a very round head, a very pronouncedly round head, the Scorpion EXO R710 is gonna be a great helmet for you to take a look at. So now that we've taken a look at some of these specifics, let's dig into each of these helmets one by one, and I'll show you the things that I liked and things that I didn't like about them that would help you kind of get an idea of which of these helmets are gonna be best for your application. So this helmet here on the table in front of me was my number one favorite helmet. This is the Icon Air Flight helmet. It's brand new for 2018, and it has some really neat features and benefits. As far as safety goes, it's DOT and ECE rated. It does not have Snell, but because of the ECE rating, I'd probably go ahead and overlook that. So three of the things I really liked about this Icon Air Flight helmet was the center open visor here. Really easy to reach down and grab and open. Very, very smooth action. The interior of this helmet was very, very plush. One of the most plush of all of the helmets in the lineup. And then the other thing that I really liked that this helmet had that none of the others did was a drop down sun visor. Now what I didn't care for was the fact that this visor can't be ridden a little bit cracked open. As soon as the wind hits this, it's gonna go ahead and close. I like to ride with my visor cracked a little bit and this helmet is not gonna facilitate that. The other thing that I thought was interesting was these vents here. They do slide open nice and easy, but I don't know that there's a whole lot of access for the air. But my opinion of that might change once I get this thing out on the road. Another thing I noticed is there's no forehead vent and the chin bar vent in order to close it, you have to reach up underneath and close it instead of having just a flip lever on the outside. Those are a couple of things I didn't like. But overall, again, my favorite helmet here in the lineup of $250 or less helmets here at Chaparral Motorsports. So here we have the Biltwell Lane Splitter Helmet. Now this scored least favorite on my list of all of the helmets here on the table, and that's for several different reasons. Number one, in order to change this visor, you need a tool or a screwdriver. It's not a quick release visor like all of the other units here on the table. The other thing is the open and close was a little bit interesting. You open here on the side, it was a little bit difficult to get this to come up, but once it is, it has a really nice lock into place at the top and it has a pretty decent lock into place there at the bottom. So those are some decent features that I did like. As far as venting goes, you've got the breath box right here. It is always open, there is no close for it. There's no forehead vent, there's no chimney vents, so it's a very, very basic helmet. So this helmet, while lacking some of the major features that some people do look in a helmet, it is DOT and ECE rated, so it is a very safe helmet for you to wear while cruising down the road in style like none of the other helmets had. This here is the Scorpion EXO R710. This is a fantastic helmet and on the face value was my favorite helmet before I tried them all on. This helmet has a couple key features that none of the other helmets have out there. First of those is gonna be this lock here on the side. This allows you to lift this lever up and it locks the visor into a closed position, keeping that visor closed in all situations. With this lever in the open position, the visor has a very, very crisp and clean feel. It's got lots of indentations, so you can have this visor open at various different levels and still be able to ride down the road. This helmet has the second most number of vents of any other helmet in this lineup. You've got a really nice chin vent. You've got a forehead vent. You've got chimney vents and lots of exhaust venting. This helmet has a lot going for it. Moving to the interior, this helmet had a great plush feeling interior and the largest cheek pads of all of the other helmets on the table. The cheek pads on this helmet came all the way forward to about here, which gave me a very, very secure and comfortable feeling on the inside of the Scorpion EXO helmet. So as far as the Scorpion EXO helmet goes, it's super safe, DOT and Snell. 
Very, very plush interior, a more of a round head shape on the inside. All of the features of this helmet work flawlessly. The visor works great, the vents work great. It's got more venting than the majority of the helmets on the table. This is a helmet, if it fit me better, would be my first choice. But due to the fact that I have a long oval, this is more of a round shape head, I'm gonna go with the Icon. But if you've got more of a rounder head, this is probably the helmet I'd choose for you if you came in asking for my suggestion. Here in front of me is the FG17 from HJC. This is a fiberglass composite shell. It has a very nice feel on the inside. All of the features of this helmet are very crisp and clean. I really, really did like this helmet, and some of those features are gonna be this center release here for the visor. This click up allows you to have some venting, which is great. You've got some nice ratchets all the way up, and then the closer, nice and secure. Venting is just one click. You just simply put your glove on the top, push it back, and it clicks into place. With all the other really nice features on this helmet, I was really surprised to not see a brow vent on this particular helmet. Now the interesting thing is the HJC CL17, which we'll show you just a minute here, which is the younger brother to this helmet, if you will, does have that vent. So here we go, the FG17 from HJC. This is a very, very good helmet. It's a fiberglass construction. The overall shell size is smaller than some of the others. The shield works really, really well, nice and crisp as far as the different detents go. I really like the center latch here and then the closure on that, the, the positive lock is great as well. It's pin lock ready, it's Snell and DOT rated. It's more of an intermediate shape so it fits lots of people and the interior is plush. So this helmet is a great helmet in our lineup of $250 helmets. This here is the HJC CL17 helmet. Now this is the least expensive helmet of all of the helmets that we debuted today. This you can get for anywhere between $150 and $180 extreme value. This helmet has a lot of features that I really like. Number one, it is Snell rated and DOT. So it's just as safe or safer than a lot of the helmets that we had here on the table. The visor has a side open and it does have a lock as well. Pushing this button locks that visor into the closed position, a feature that only some of the higher level helmets had in this particular test. This helmet is also pin lock ready. So if you would like to purchase a pin lock, this visor is already ready to accept the pin lock. When it comes to venting, this lower priced helmet has a lot of the higher end helmets beat. You've got a good chin vent, you've got a good forehead vent, you've got chimney vents, you've got whisker vents. This helmet seems to have it all when it comes to venting in this lineup of helmets that we presented to you at $250 or less. And here we have in front of us the Speed & Strength SS3000. Fit and finish wise, this is a great helmet and I really liked it and wanted to score it better. But once putting this helmet on my head, I had to knock it down a few. Again, the size was pretty small. I had to go up two sizes, up to a large or extra large in order for this to even fit correctly with my ears fitting into the ear pockets. Another thing I noticed that with the small size helmet here, the helmet sat really, really high up on my cheekbones, which is obviously not a correct fit. So. Sizing on this, I'd say it runs small. I'd go a size larger at least if you're looking at purchasing this helmet. Overall, it has a more of a round head shape instead of an oval. Features on this helmet are great. It has a really nice shell. The visor itself is great. Venting is good. All in all, it's a great helmet. Now, one thing this helmet has was emergency release cheek pads. That's a great safety feature. Now, if there was one thing I really disliked about this helmet was the visor opening. Basically, you have to find it and then push this little button in in order to release the visor before you could lift it up. You can't just really just reach and grab. So that's a feature that I didn't personally like. But if you like more of a stealth look on the front of your helmet, that is a great feature if you happen to like that. And there you have it, the Speed & Strength SS3000. If you have more of a round head shape, size up one size, and this should be a great helmet for you. And here's our lineup of the six best helmets for 2018 onto that $250 price point. These helmets are feature packed value price point helmets that are gonna keep you safe, comfortable, and stylish while out on the road. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more information like this directly to your email inbox, please hit the subscribe button. I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Shepard Motorsports. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, take care and ride safe.